something is wrong with you, I'm going to bring you to the doctor. Share. 
Shoulder curl. Keith, 
right? And keep preaching down here. So, there is transformation or there is change that we experience, but it's not really transformation that are deep within us and we become a new person and we don't go back to what we used to be. Today, I'd like to talk about that change. And I'd like to put to you that through Jesus, we can experience real change. Yeah. This story. But I'd like to put to you that in Romans 12, verse 2, the Bible tells us that we are not to be conformed to this world. In other words, we must be happy with fitting in. We must be happy with blending in. Like the who blends in? Amelia. Right? God wants us to stand out. He wants us to be transformed by the renewal of our what? And this is not just a, a change on your skin. A change on the outside. This is a change that comes deep where? So, so God doesn't just want us to, to look a certain way or to act a certain way. He wants us to be transformed from the inside. No, when a caterpillar is in that chrysalis and you should burst the chrysalis, chrysalis for it to come out, it will not fly properly. Because you know what needs to happen for the caterpillar to come out properly? It has to struggle out of the chrysalis. If it doesn't struggle out of the chrysalis, the muscles in the wings won't develop. And if the muscles in the wings won't develop, it cannot fly. There is something you are going through that you need to go through. Because if you did not go through it, you probably would not know God. If you did not go through it, you probably would not have the strength to carry you forward to those next challenges you have to face. And the, the chrysalis is like a crucible. Like the, the pot on the fire, purifying, yes, yes. taking out impurities, like refined gold. I want to remind us that the challenge you are facing, God is already aware of it. Amen. God, God already knows what is happening. Yes. He already has a plan, and He has already seen the future from the present. And he knows how the story ends, yes. even if you're not sure. Yes. And if you look at the life of Joseph, Joseph ended up in prison. He was wrongfully accused. He was sold in this, the, the butterfly experience. Now, I remember I said to that God has a plan. The Bible says, it said to Jeremiah, that from, from, from you are in the womb, I knew you. You may not know what your purpose is now. You may not know what direction your life will take. But best believe that God already has a plan for you. He already has a mission for you. He asks you to simply surrender. To do this, it says that God is the one that causes righteousness to come forth. God is the one. So we are not doing the changing. We are the one that has to humble ourselves and surrender to God for Him to change us. And with faith, we can accomplish anything within God's will. And I want to encourage everyone here today that through faith, you and your circumstances can experience transformation. Just like the butterfly. With that, I believe you. Amen. I believe you.